Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Bead Maker and Coffee for Monday, December 4th. We're here with Jamie the Cleaner and, of course, Sydney Bray Gwynn. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are morning. you? I am doing well. Uh, can okay. you see where I am? Yeah, it looks like a uh, special edition. I'm in the basement. Closet. You're in the, <laughs> the that basement. Looks, it does look like the basement. I didn't know the basement had lights. Oh, the basement's uh, pretty and organized now. We've got a, a collection of products from the you know the past 60 years. Yeah, it's looking and, good. And uh, all kinds of good stuff back here. But how are you guys this morning? Doing good, letting the coffee kick in. Hopefully it'll, be good it'll in like kick in. 34 yep. more seconds. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> kicks in soon. Yep. Good morning, everybody. All right. So we are here today um, on a special mission, which I'm sure will be leaked out at some point today. Oh, yes. <laughs> but we flew in uh, yesterday with you, Tony. Um, so we all got here yesterday and we've got a lot of fun stuff going on. Uh, most importantly, though, is Tony has a training today mm -hmm. that is going to be a lot of fun. We've got uh, lots of guys coming in today. And um, Jamie and I get to pop in and kind of interrupt training and shake things up. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then it just so happened that we were here and it is a bead maker coffee day. So we are super excited. I always love doing this from from Hayward. It's it just comes across different, right? To be in PNS when we get to do this. So um, super exciting. So uh, we are coming off of uh, well, some of us here are coming off of the IDA shop crawl this weekend. Um, yes. So yesterday, everybody that was there flew out from Boise and I flew with everybody here. So um, gosh, we had, this was our third annual IDA shop crawl and we had probably about 55 to 60 people join us on the crawl. And so, wow. yeah, it was crazy. So for those that don't know, we start at one shop and then literally everybody all moves to the second shop, third shop. You know, it's about a 15, 20 minute drive between shops and it was amazing. So we had kind of crazy weather, but it went off amazing. And, um, it was really, really good, really good. We threw in some stores this year, which we haven't had before. Um, so we had specialty supply in Boise and then we had, uh, MVP detailing, which is now located at the rag company. So oh. it was, it was awesome. And then our last shop always hosts dinner. And so that was the rag company. And so everybody got to eat in the media center and it was, it was really awesome. Really, really good. So that was Very fun. Very cool. Yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great. So if you want to go back and catch that, there are um, live videos provided by Rod and Jody from RotaFest. They went live at each stop. And so those are all on the IDA Facebook page. So go check those out. Um, otherwise, we are just, it is December now, which is so crazy. So yeah. crazy. The year is almost over. Yeah. Um, it's been a crazy year. So super, super busy. And it is coming to an end. However, we still have lots going on. So, so Jamie, do you want to tell them why you're here? Or you still want to keep it a secret? Uh, I think we're still <laughs> keeping it on the DL. But if, if you're in the know, <laughs> we're mixing it up around here. You know, we got Tony here. It's going to be a good day. Yep. Looking forward to this. Yep. Yep. Know, so you know. A couple other, a couple other special appearances today and stuff. So it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Lots of lots of fun. So, um, so how about before we get started, we've got lots of good mornings and questions coming in. So yeah, how coming, coming about fast. if we start with my favorite part of the show, which is what is your favorite product that you used Ooh. last week or in the last two weeks? Yeah. Do you have one? Am I starting one? Yeah. Okay. So it, it is a uh, mud buster. Oh. I have recently dove deep. Saw the video. Yeah. Into uh, mm -hmm. playing around mud buster. I've been trying a lot of citrus APCs, and I was finally like, let's give Mud Buster a try again, because I tried it when it first came out just in a, in a pint, really good, but now, I don't know if Dave's been tweaking it or what, but it is, <laughs> it's 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 good to go. It foams super well, just as good as Brake Buster, mm -hmm. uh, melts the brown off the tire, melts bugs off the front. Mm -hmm. I mean, it it's, it's mm -hmm. not playing around. And it's you put it in your IK sprayer. IK, four to yeah. one, I mixed it in IK sprayer. I've never done that before. And it was phenomenal. Used and I believe it's, a, it's a higher pH. It's maybe a nine or 10 on the pH scale. Um, so it's going to have an extra little boost to the cleaning power that way. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's, it seems to just attack those uh, kind of mm -hmm. exterior contaminants really well, really breaks it down real fast. I really enjoyed it. So, cool. Very cool. Cool. 
I'm going to have to try that. I mean, I use Mudbuster all the time, mm. but I just spray it on. I have to try the IK spray. Oh, we got to try on the IK. That's awesome. So uh, mine is kind of similar but different. But because it is now December mm. um, and the cars are coming in a little bit dirtier underneath, you know, some leaves and dirt and all sorts of fun stuff is being kicked up. So um, I've been using a lot of Tempest. Ooh. So I do love Tempest, which is in the Chemtrol line. Mm, that's one I haven't um, tried. But it is one that I've been burning through crazy lately just because I end up spraying the whole underneath side, you know, so all the fender wells, all of that. Um, still doing my wheels and tires with their normal stuff, but I'm having to pre-hit all the underneath mm. with Tempest. And that is um, it's a really powerful degreaser, but I also feel like it's super safe too. So it doesn't leave any marks or, you know, I know – there's been years in the past where I've used products, none that are PNS, but products that have like left like the drip marks and, you know, burn marks in the plastic or, mm -hmm. you know, make it look all funky. And so I love Tempest because I know that I can get in there and like do the maximum amount of work without, you know, risking anything. And um, so Tempest has been my bottle that if I have to think back of, you know, what bottle did I have to refill three times in the last two weeks? And it was Tempest. Yep. Wow. So just had uh, Mr. Bob Phillips chime in with Mudbuster is a 10.5 pH. There you go. Very nice. So, so there you go. It's a little, you know, I w we were, Keith and I went digging a couple of weeks ago uh, into the SDSs because I was looking for something uh, in the family that was a little bit higher, you know, yeah. more of a strip wash type product. And uh, yeah. so I, I know Mudbuster popped up on the list when we talked about that. That's awesome. I do love my buster for um, engine degreasing. I use it on engine cleaning mm. a lot, which mm, I only do like for a year. But when I do, really like the mud buster in the engine. Um, well, I have a quick product of the week too. I had a uh, vehicle come in where the customer had a apple cider vinegar spill on their beige oh, wow. cloth awesome. seat, mm -hmm. oh. um, and so this seat was like orange and red and nasty. Um, and you know, you could see how it had come out of the container it was in for whatever reason and dripped down all the seams and everything. Um, and so Terminator yeah. took it right out. Wow. I mean, really? Absolutely destroyed it. I still wow. obviously followed it up with, um, carpet bomber, but mm -hmm. you know, I, looking at it, I had no idea really what to think cause I hadn't had something like that, that I knew specifically what it was and apple wow. cider vinegar, you know, having that orange red tint to it. Um, mm -hmm. I was a little worried initially. Spray terminator on it, hit it with my my brush, and it vanished instantly. Wow. Uh, so the customer was super excited about that. That's um, awesome. So yep. it's it's nice when saving the day is really easy. Yep. Yeah, I hard. would have thought that, that would have permanently damaged it. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, especially I mean, these were very creamy beige, mm -hmm. you know, seats. Very so. creamy, very beige, yeah. Creamy, <laughs> creamy beige, yeah. Those can be hard to uh, get the stains out. So I'm glad yep. you had success with that. That's awesome. All right. Well, do we have some questions that we can start with? Lots of lots of lots of good mornings. Lots of good mornings. Good morning. Love everybody. It. It's early. So early. Yeah. You know, we <laughs> we have the luxury of being an hour and two hours later than the the six thirty call time, right? It's usually seven thirty my time, eight thirty Jamie's mm -hmm. time. So this was early for us. And yeah. I well. I would say normally I have like a 30 second drive, but I do have to go get my coffee first. Yeah, so go to the but, Mocha Moose. Yes, go yeah. to the Mocha Moose. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the, your cup was as good as the Mocha Moose. Yeah. Well, today I didn't really care. It was like give me all <laughs> Just the coffee. Extra shots. I did chestnut kind of reeling today. I totally Ooh, went off script. How was that one? It was pretty good. It's a little bit like um it's a little smoky, if that makes sense. Like it's a little yeah, the chest, chestnuts deep, yeah. roasting. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they roast. Them. I think they roast them. I'm not sure. <laughs> that totally makes sense. Yeah, I enjoy. <laughs> I've been enjoying the caramel brulee latte. Oh yeah, that's Starbucks. the one I'm going to yeah. try tomorrow. Yep. That's the one I'm going to try tomorrow. Yeah. Out of pumpkin spice season, got to mm -hmm. go into the caramels, the chestnuts. Yep. Hmm. Always good. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. First question of the morning from Michael Stringer. Question. When using Beadmaker with Dreammaker, any mm -hmm. application tips or concerns when applying below 50 degrees? Ah, yeah. Well, first, I like to mix a little Dreammaker into my Beadmaker. You know, that makes everything <laughs> run a little smooth. <laughs> Bob's already shaking his head over here. We don't officially <laughs> condone any. Oh sort of yeah, this is the official show. Well, when it comes to below fifty degrees, I guess I'll pitch it over to Sydney then. Um, fifty degrees. Does it not get fifty degrees where you guys are? Mm, nah, I no? usually ain't no? working if it gets below that. So I don't even know. So yeah. So to be honest, 
I don't typically apply it. I mean, cause I, it is below 50 degrees where I live, but mm. I'm usually applying it indoors. So yeah. it's not usually 50 degrees, but I would just say that if you're having trouble, so like if the panel of the vehicle is cold or frozen, mm -hmm. um, I would definitely spray it on the towel first. Um, that's yeah. kind of my go-to if, if you're having application issues is just sprayed on the towel first. Um, what that helps is where if you're spraying it onto the surface and the surface is too cold, it kind of like sets up right away mm -hmm. or it freezes. Um, so spray it on the towel first and it just gives you a little bit more working time, yeah. you know, cause you're applying it and wiping it at the same time. So, you know, and you can get your towel pretty heavily saturated that first time if you need. Um, so I would do that, but then honestly, like, like Jamie says, is I, my dream makers in with my bead maker and that, you know, one, it cuts down the time between applying the two products and, um, it does make it, you have a, I would say you have a little bit more working time. I feel like. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For sure. And definitely as the temperature drops closer to that freezing point, you know, it's going to get harder and harder to work with this stuff. So, yeah, absolutely. Lots of good mornings. Have a great week. I like it. <laughs> Got to try to get and to my app so we can see who's commenting. Oh, yeah, because we just see Facebook yes, users over Facebook here. So user, yep. not sure who's all coming in. We Josh Pierce okay. coming in Josh hot. Pierce. What's going on, buddy? He made it home. The road dog himself. That's awesome. So for those that don't know, Josh Pierce is, um, he, I don't know that I'd call him a road warrior, but he's just a warrior. He's the road dog. Right? He just shows up. And so mm -hmm. Josh is from Ohio Iowa. Why do I keep wanting to say Ohio? Iowa. Iowa. Um, and he flew to Boise this weekend for the shop crawl. So awesome. So it's always awesome when he can join us and... I mean, such, such a great guy. And I know, um, I actually got two messages from people yesterday saying, you know, I've never really talked to Josh Pierce in person and he's awesome. So that was great. <laughs> love having you join us, Josh. That was so great. Yeah. Did he bring any limited edition swag? I know he's a, he's he a swag guy. He didn't, but he left with a list of, a lot things of ideas. That to be made. Uh, yes. I like it. I like <laughs> he it. did leave. He did leave with a list. So he yes. was plus, plus one idea at least plus for one. sure. Yep, yep. He did have a couple extra ideas. Nice. <laughs> one, All right. Ramiro. One. Oh shoot. Oh, we, up, Ramiro. Ramiro. Yep. Good morning, Ramiro. Ramiro good morning, he's, everyone. he's missing us this week. Oh yes. no. Oh, no. I was going to say, we're yeah, I was about to say, see yep. Shoot, <laughs> oh, my time man. is off. Oh, he's in Big Bear this Big week. Bear. That's awesome. Well, good. We'll have fun. Tell everybody up there we said hi. Yep. Steve says, let's go. Hello, Steve. We are going. <laughs> we got Fast oh, Eddie's Eddie. in the house. Fast Eddie's Eddie. detail. Good morning, Eddie. Hello. Lots of good mornings. Lots of Jamie the Cleaner shout outs. Yeah. What's going mm -hmm. on? Yep. Uh oh, <laughs> too funny. Oh, the basement. Is Joe down there? Is Joe down there? Who's that from? Yeah. See, look it's up. always like, you can no. look it up. <laughs> then they say, not you, Joe Kimball. <laughs> too funny. I don't, for some reason, they don't always show. Not you, Joe Kimball. Oh, okay. So it's not showing on my side. Big Red's is thinking. He's thinking hard. <laughs> Fred from Glovebox. I'm eating sushi for the first time. Is the secret? Mm, I've had sushi before. Have you? Come on, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I like sushi. Oh, look at this man, man of culture, Jamie the Clean. <laughs> you just won over Bob. For those that don't know, we have Bob in the in the room with mm -hmm. us, hiding behind the camera. Yep. All right. Big Bob says, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry." <laughs> I'm just like, let's get this over. Let's get this Kool Aid. <laughs> Good morning, Sydney Jamie. Kool -Aid. Good morning. I love Kool Aid. Sorry, I'm just trying to. I'm flying through. There's so many good mornings. I'm Ooh, just kind of training kicked day. In faster than mine. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm already like shaking over here. Yeah. Training day. Keith good morning, Duplessis. Keith. Good morning. Kimberly, this is just for Kimberly since her uh, comment came up. I've not mm. forgotten about your shirt. I just have not had new shirts made yet. Mm. I'm still trying to decide on my design. And so I did not forget about you. I just have not had shirts made. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I owe her a buff like a buff girl like shirt. Buff like a girl, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are cool. <laughs> All right. Big Reds. Means Jamie's so. official. Officially releasing oh. clean maker. Mm. Dum, dum, but then he dum, says, hmm. hmm. <laughs> you never know what will happen around here. Hola, amigo. Michael says, hey, guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. It's still dark here, though. Holy yeah, cow. It's what time like does it get light? Night. 
crazy. Hey, I got here in the darkness and it's still dark. It's when still does dark, the sun yeah. come up, Bob? What right. is going on around here? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Tony is the Beyonce of PNS. Beyonce. I like it. Hey, thank you, no, G. Davis. I don't Davis. know He's what you did bee. to make somebody say that. Mazelle <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the Gazelle. gazelle. A lot of Tony love this morning, man. They're pumped up for Tony. <laughs> Tony has a lot of nicknames. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's like he's yeah, the coming that way. Personality of PNS. Yep. He's got lots of nicknames. Now he's got Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Your PNS. That's so funny. But what did I miss? Like all I, I think no of, idea. all I think of is like the single ladies dance. No. I'm like, what <laughs> yeah. does he do? That's me. I'm the single lady in the in the view like, here. I'm the third wheel uh, situation. Tony in the basement. So funny. Gordon McCall. Gordon McCall. Good morning, what is Gordon. Going on? Good morning to the A team. Missing you, Sydney, Jamie, and Tony. Appreciate you. Hope good, sir. you all have had a great holiday. Keep up the great work. If you missed it, we have a shop tour of Gordon's on the Rad Company's yes. channel. So if you yes. missed it, go check it out. I had the honor of hosting that uh, pleasurable tour. It's great. So fun. So fun. That was one of the best parts of Monterey Week. Yeah. We just got to hang out with Gordon in his shop. That was so great. All right, Mark it was fun to start it off that way too. It was like a nice, mm -hmm. yeah, like a welcoming. He was the welcoming party to all of us showing up. We're all, you know, yep. bright eyed and bushy tailed, and yeah, it was it was really neat. Yeah, and the bike, Tony. Did you get to ride the bikes? You did. I didn't ride the bike. No, you but didn't? everyone else had no, so much I, fun. No, we're all just a they bunch were, of chickens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bikes were fast. Everybody else rode them. That's so funny that none of us did. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. too scared. Too scared. Yeah, I don't know about the electric bikes yet. All right. Well, more so just oh. just mm. so many mornings. We've Mike's got Auto Detailing. Good morning. Mike's Auto Detailing. We've got Mr. Dewar. Mr. Dewar. Yeah. Dewar just dropped a hot review of a funny. tutorial of the yep. fragrance line. Yep. Mixed up a little bead maker, uh, essence of bead maker. Mm -hmm. Good video. Go check it out. Romero. It. Mud Buster is foam town. Yes, it is. It is, it is fantastic. I love, I'm, I'm now in love with Mud Buster. Mm -hmm. Work better on winter salt. So, Kimberly, salt. do you think Mud Buster will work on winter salt better than Break Buster? That's a good question. At the bump day, you see what his opinion is on that. I have no idea on winter questions, so. I'm trying to think. <laughs> um, I'm going to guess almost a little bit yes. And the reason that I think that is um because i find that i use more products like my buster and stuff on because we have a lot of salt on our roads in idaho okay. and i'm going to say yes and i think the reason is going to be is that brake buster is you know so thick mm -hmm. that it kind of will just stick in one spot and kind of absorb that rather than you know you i think you get a more full coverage it's a little bit more liquidy maybe not with foam i'm not sure but i know it's pretty thick just spraying <laughs> it on like because i'm thinking about how i'm using mm -hmm. tempest and mud buster yep. and enviro cleaner things <clears throat> like you spray it on and it it, it tends yeah. to start dripping it down, whereas I think Brake Buster is going to stick and hold. Mm. Um, so I would almost think that it might work a little bit better. I know those are the types of products I grab when I've got, you know, salt all over the car. Definitely. All right. Big Red says, Jamie sees the foam. He's in the zone. Yep. Big Red <laughs> sent me a story post with his son. It was playing his iPad and he heard something very familiar and he looked over and his son was watching me. Oh my gosh. And then he posted the next day, his son had a detail factory brush just going to town on the trampoline with it. That's so funny. <laughs> and he That's said, so if funny. you see the phone, I'm in my zone. So, yeah. That's so funny. That's funny. I still, I'll never forget when Delaney didn't really know that I knew Jamie and she was watching him on TikTok and she'd come in and she'd send me TikToks and she'd be like, you need to do stuff the way <laughs> this guy does. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Shout out to Delaney. <laughs> so funny. Real Francis. MVP. Hi. That's good to know because if I, you know if my videos are connecting to the younger audience, mm -hmm. it must be doing something right. Yeah, totally, totally. All right, Tim Jennings, your Mudbuster video, Jamie, was awesome. Thanks for doing that. Appreciate you, Tim. Yeah, that um, did get around. Yeah, I looked at the views the other day. Yeah. Mm, yeah, well, it had the new product. It had yep. crystal wash. I mean, it yep. was through some mud bust. It was a good video. Mm -hmm. it was. It was. <laughs> Good Got morning, more, Facebook user. A few more Facebook users, which I also posted the link in the chat today uh, yeah. to, yeah. to sync your Facebook to yeah. Restream if you guys are interested. Just, just so they fix that issue. Yeah. Yeah. 
Amber put Pearl in her new IK foamer yesterday and used it as a gentle maintenance wheel and tire cleaner for my daily. Loved it. Clean well without being unnecessarily strong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good yep. move. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. People, some people like to just nuke those wheel and tires every single time. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, it's not necessary. Yeah. Nope. Yep. So you don't need move. to waste the product. And especially if they're coated or something. Yeah. You, you often even, don't really need much to clean them even. Yeah. Yeah. And which a, is a lot yeah. of them. I just use like Defender. And then the next time. Yep. I mean, making them, washing them is so easy. Yeah. And that's why I made yep. the, the clean buster mix. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. I won't Amber. tell you what I mixed together on this, but. <laughs> Look up the video. <laughs> <laughs> no mixing talk. The mm -hmm. search. All right. Amber says, I have also used Pearl to clean my door jams. I put it in a 32 ounce spray bottle with foaming spray head. It's funny Ooh. that you bring this up nice. because I found a bottle in my shop that I believe Mr. Mazel left in my shop that he made when he worked in there. Mm -hmm. And I Interesting. Believe, was it, I believe it's Pearl and water. It is. Yes. It, that's what I was guessing. I was like, Tony I've never left done this that. here. Yeah. Tony left this here and it's been hanging on my sink and I've always wondered what it was. And then the other day I used it on something and I was like, I think it says pearl and water. That's yeah. the classic detailer move where you're like, oh, I have to fix something and you just grab whatever bottle's closest mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. And you're like, this will work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what are you using that uh, pearl in the bottle? Well, so um, we had a very interesting water spotted vehicle uh, that I worked on in Sydney shop without Sydney there. Wow. Uh, unsupervised uh, <laughs> Sydney detail in the Sydney HQ. Um, and so it was actually Delaney and I. And so I ended up having to go at some water spots on a matte wrap with uh, a strong water spot remover and acid, mm -hmm. the PNS water spot remover. Um, and so I called Dave. Uh, and I said, Dave, I'm in Sydney's shop, <laughs> unsupervised with acid. Um, what should I do to safely neutralize this acid? It's in Sydney's shop. Her shop is at her home. I want to be responsible. And, you know, his he's just first started grilling me like, why are you there? Where is Sydney? <laughs> why are you alone? What are you doing there? Why do you have acid? And, um, and I'm like, Dave, I don't have time yeah. for this. I need to know. And so he, it was Dave's recommendation to Matt actually, Rapp, Dave, and I need instructions. Yes. Like, um, no. Have so he, he suggested a, a, a blue bead maker, which one do I yep. grab? Blue bead maker and Pearl. That's all I have at my disposal. No. So I'm like, you know, Sydney's shop, you know what he had, what she has. He said to dilute some Pearl in water and essentially do a rinseless yep. wash old school style with the mm -hmm. Pearl instead of the absolute. Mm. Um, just because it would help break down the acid a little bit better uh, and neutralize that nice. a little bit better. So we ended up doing that. Um, and I tell you what, going back and rinseless washing with Pearl makes you mm -hmm. just fall in love with Absolute all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so just great. a big soapy mess. But we got the water spots off. We neutralized the acid. Everything was responsible and good. So nice. So there yep. you go. Turned out great. That's awesome. No, no vinegar smell in the car, thankfully. So that was nice. Very good. All right. HM Auto Detailing. Yeah. Can't start my day without caffeine fix. No kidding. I think I'm ready for round two. I've never tried, but I can't imagine that it would go very well. <laughs> hey Davis, Jamie's starting his channel doing alligator shoe reviews. Now he's been with PNS in California twice in one year. Truly living the American dream. G. Davis, I appreciate you, good buddy. That's so funny. I, well, and I'm glad that you pointed out that it was G. Davis because I was mm -hmm. going to go, did you really do that? Like, am I going to have to scroll that far back it's, to see what your it's first hard video down is? hard holding down alligator shoes. <laughs> All right, Josh, coming in with the, I had my first Sydney from Mocha Moose this weekend, and it was amazing. I have not yes. tried the, the Mocha Moose yet, so oh, next, next, next Boise time, trip, yeah. I'm yep. going to the, the Moose. Mocha Moose. <laughs> It is amazing, and it's not on the Bob approved list. We can hear him. In yeah, the he's. <laughs> I don't think Bob approves <laughs> of the mocha moose. Bob says you don't need a meal in a cup. <laughs> moose is not a shape. <laughs> you yeah. can't meet what, what twenty five percent of your caloric intake. What were those cookie things we had last night? Bob did not approve. Oh, the pizuki. Pizuki. Yeah, if y'all haven't had a fantastic round of pizukis, I mean that's it, so it was delicious. So not amazing. Bob approved, but nope. delicious. <laughs> Mike's Auto Detailing. Sydney, how do you handle the undercarriage and salt? Here on the coast, we don't do that as much. So I, I use Tempest. So I just spray it and then I pressure wash it. So I am working in my garage. So that's kind of a two-part question. One, if they're really, really bad, 
Um, you know, I always do kind of let my customers know that if their car is really dirty, if they have a lot of stuff underneath, I do ask them to run it through a car wash because they're set up for that. They do the whole undercarriage blowout. So I do, if I know that the car is going to be, you know, kind of in rough condition, I do ask them to take it to the car wash first because I am in my home and all of that stuff is going to go on my floor and then I have to figure out what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but if it's a pretty simple, normal, um, you know, they've been driving around for a couple days, then I do use the Tempest and I really like how Tempest breaks up the salt and then it just always rinses away. I don't even have to scrub anything. That's the other reason I really like Tempest is I feel like I don't even have to scrub. Mm. I just spray and rinse and it's great. Yeah. Especially for undercarriages. Yeah. Do you have the, one of the broom things you shove under there? I do. I do. That's... Yeah. I don't use it too often though. Cause seriously, if they're that dirty, I'm like, mm -hmm. can you please run it through a car wash? Yeah. Go, go to one with the <laughs> undercarriage blasters yep. yeah. and then come on by. Yeah. Yep. I like it. Yep. Towel first and use a second wipe. This was about, um, bead maker treatment. In the cold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In the cold. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I use two towels. Me too. No matter what. Yep. FTWs. Love them. Yep. Robin. Good morning, all. So good Robin. Yeah, Robin. So we talked about Josh being a warrior. Robin mm -hmm. is a warrior also. Yep. Um, so she came from New York with her plus one, who is, we are big fans of plus one, um, Blaine. And plus so one. that was, yeah, so that was great to have them there with us too. Um, yeah, I need you know, to meet plus one. Yeah. That's a long way to go, though. So we really appreciate, um, you know, we had a lot of people travel in for that, and it was just amazing. Yeah, it's so, pretty cool. Yeah, it was, it was fun. To, always, I mean, always a good time to have them with us. Terry, opinions about foaming over crystal wash. Have you tried that? I haven't tried. I usually just go ahead and rinse the whole thing down, but I think you'd be fine. I think you would totally be fine. Once yeah. it's crystallized, yep. it's done its job, it's separated the contaminants, yep. foam yep. over, carry on. Yeah, there's really no... Um, I think you can, yeah, do whatever is easiest at that point, whether you're doing a rinseless wash, foaming, rinsing. I mean, yeah, there's no, I don't think there's any wrong way to do that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Terry, yeah. Terry, you better get your butt around here. <laughs> Give you a good shake. Hopefully you can come down today. Terry and I always miss each other when he comes. I know. He, I'll, he'll show up yep. and be like, I was there 45 minutes ago. Yeah. Yep. Every time. Yep. All right. Gabriel, hot shot versus Tempest versus knockoff versus EnviroClean. Wow. What, a what are the biggest differences? So I've only used EnviroClean. I've used Tempest knockoff and EnviroClean. I have Hot Shot. I've really only used Hot Shot to clean concrete. Um, so Hot Shot is, I think it's a st stronger than Tempest maybe. Um, that one, that one makes me concerned probably for no reasons, things that are just in my head. Um, Tempest we talked about. So heavy degreaser, Knockoff is actually a wheel cleaner. So knockoff is different than Breakbuster, where Breakbuster's wheel and Entire. tire cleaner. This is just a wheel cleaner. So it does a great job just on the wheels. I actually use knockoff in my wheel bucket. So knockoff is what it's in my bucket with all my brushes and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, I love it for that. Then EnviroClean is an APC. Um, EnviroClean's, you know, highly dilutable for whatever you need to do. So many different, a huge range of uses that you could use EnviroClean. Um, so EnviroClean is going to be citrus based. Um, I go through a ton of EnviroClean as well. Um, so yeah, so they're all a little different, but Hotshot is like a heavy duty degreaser. I don't use it a lot just because I don't do like heavy, heavy degreasing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to try that one. Yeah. Yeah. And I really love Tempest, honestly. I mean, as far as like when, when I was like, okay, I need, I need a degreaser in my mm -hmm. lineup and I went straight to Tempest when it came out in the chemtrol line. And I, I love Tempest so much that I've just never spent too much time with Hotshot, but I have used it to clean concrete. <laughs> You're just like, well, there you go. Well, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right. Mario, sponge or mitt with absolute? I'm 100% sponge. Sponge. Polymers, <laughs> to me, just pair up well with the sponge mm -hmm. technology where mm -hmm. there's other surfactant rinseless washes that pair up with the mitts, yep. really do a better job of cleaning the microfiber, mm -hmm. where the pure polymers pair up with the sponge. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's all about the sponge in the PNS Training Center, much to Bob's dismay. Yep. So Bob <laughs> comes in, then he grabs a mitt. <laughs> Bob, you put mitts in the absolute? He's a mitt guy. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. Water all over the place. Oh, it makes a mess. <laughs> you got to, Bob, it's squeezed yeah, yeah, the slightly. Yeah. Yep. Bob's got to take the training <laughs> class. We're going to have to get Bob in the training room today. He could be in there today. Yeah, I think so. It's been enough time has passed. I've been in Bob, control. Bob, absolute training starts yep. at 10. Yep. We'll see you there. 
right. Uh, I can see Joey Belinsky say hi. Hi, Joey. Joey's in chat, Joey. Oh, Joey's here. We, yep, uh, Joey's here. On the move. What's up? Too funny. All right. We got Steven. That's East Bay. Steven, good morning, guys. We will be over to see you soon. Yep. I'm looking forward to shaking Steve's hand. Yep. Joel detailing. Will the heater be on in the training studio today? The <laughs> studio gets a little chilly. Um, well, given the fact that Jamie and I's heaters in our hotel rooms didn't work last night, this actually feels pretty good. I haven't warmed Don't, up yet. Doing okay. Nope. <laughs> Robin Sweet, uh, the plus one team is recovering from jet lag Oof. today. Yeah. Get your feet up. Yep. Long flight Enjoy. home. Long flight home. All right. Ooh, Facebook uh, user. Thank you. Jamie, for your videos. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a safe... Appreciate you. Thank you. Have a very Merry and safe Christmas to yourself. (laughs) Appreciate you watching. This used to work so well. Hashtag the fix is in from Big Reds. You know, you know. Oh, yeah. (laughs) The fix is in. Fisher, have my microfiber championship ready to go. (laughs) Carlton said, what is the life expectancy of Defender? So we typically say six to 12 months. Um, You know, the life expectancy, and I I love these questions because, you know, I get a lot of these via Instagram and email, Mm -hmm. and I always have to sit there and think, well, that's such a hard question to answer because it's really going to depend on what the paint system is, where does the car live, how was it prepped, is it coated, is it uncoated, you know, take it through a car wash. I mean, it's, it's a vast answer, Mm -hmm. right? It's so hard to answer that. So we say... As a general rule, it's going to be six to 12 months. But honestly, if it's an old car with compromised clear coat that goes through a car wash four times. You, a- you could beat it up in a couple months yeah. if you try. Yeah, yeah you, you, know. you can beat yeah. it. Like if you're uh, in the in the dirty mm-hmm. south, like I myself, and you get the bugs on the front, you mm-hmm. got to hit it with mud buster just yeah. about every time. I mean, that's going to wear and tear on it for sure. Yep. yep. So on my own vehicle or customer's vehicles that I'm maintaining, I'll put a new coat on about every six months. Just, you know. Mm. Yeah, just to keep it happy and, and it's, healthy. It's such a fun product to use that, and it you know takes two seconds. So, but six to twelve months. But you do have to factor in what it's being used on and how that mm-hmm. vehicle's cared for, stored, lives. Yep. All that I kind just of did stuff. a four month update on it from first applying it to four months of never been washed. So, if you want to see what it looks like, run straight, just drove straight for four months, no wash, comes in, I hit it with the pH neutral soap. I got a review of it. Cool. Where it's just the whole wash. I just. You're just watching. There you go. Yep. Nice. All right. The details in me. Good morning. Hey, Christy. Good morning. Hidden, Hidden details. details. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. I like the name. Would love to see Alex. Tony at TRCMA 2024. Viewers looking for you, Tony. Need to take some training notes. Do you want some training notes. class? You need to do a, a little training at TRCMA. Yep. Tony's training tips segment. <laughs> tips and tricks. <laughs> hey, we, we have some uh, spots open for the mid 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 show. So, mm-hmm. yep. I have to stay in there. Super auto bead maker and coffee with Tater, tater and Gator. gator. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you got Bob with that one. Oh gosh. All right, super auto. I need a pick posted today of Tony, Tony and, and Jelly yes, B. Yes, yes, I'm looking forward to this this uh, this yes. photo. We're going to put yep. some shoulders, trench coat style. And be as tall as, as, tall as Joey. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Same height. <laughs> Joseph Carter, good morning from El Salvador. Wow, good nice. Morning. Thank you for joining us. Very cool. Rob, in fact, with the IDA meet and greet was awesome. Any suggestions on how to network with local shops and suppliers in local areas without a shop crawl option? Um, You know, I think that just... Oh. Even just doing like a meet and greet or, you know, just kind of throwing it out there. I think even if you like host, a, you know, just cookies and drinks or something, I think, you know, that's one way. Mm-hmm. I think probably the starting way, though, and I'm going to take this from a page of Utah. Um, we do give shout outs to the Utah detailers a lot, but I'm telling mm-hmm. you, they do it right. Mm-hmm. You know, they started just a Utah detailers family group. And it's mm. literally my favorite group on all of Facebook for detailing. Yeah. Um, so I think just starting that so that people can collaborate and, you know, what I see them do a lot is I have a customer, you know, somebody got sick in their car or somebody needs to sell their car, or, you know, kid home from college, they need it detailed tomorrow. Everybody mm. just goes on there and goes, here's the situation. I can't do it. Who can? Mm. And so they, it's like, it just, organically turns into a network. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think even just 
you know, doing that. You know, I know it was Brigham Salazar that started that and a couple, it was probably only five years ago that he did that. And it's so great. And he just threw it out and said, Hey, I want to start a group so that, you know, just those of us, you know, locally can chat and it grew from there and it's been great. And I love watching that kind of stuff. So, you know, you can start that way and then just do just real simple meet and greets, you know, get together or even just meet for lunch. You know, there's been a couple detailers in my area that, you know, when, when we realized there was a need in, in our town for bringing people together, a couple of us just set up lunch and we met and chatted mm-hmm. and it, you know, and that's actually what kind of turned into the shop crawl was, you know, a couple of us met and talked and said, how do we bring the community together? So mm-hmm. that's you know, what I, it takes is someone kind of stepping mm-hmm. up and going, yeah. Hey, let's get together yeah. a cup of coffee or something. And then it kind of goes from there. Yeah, totally. I think yeah. that's great. And yeah, just meet for lunch somewhere or, you know, get together once a month, talk about, you know, who's slow, who's busy, what are you doing? You know, just pretty easy. Yeah. Yes. And I always find that when you do actually get together, nobody's like worried about another one. You know, you get together and you realize that somebody's in the same boat as you. Usually you're going to be having the same results. And and what's funny is, you know, you could feel like something's failing in your business. And then when you see that the next guy is having the same issue, all of a sudden, people step into to the, okay, well, let's figure this out. Let's problem solve, mm-hmm. you know, and it, it's just, it's, it's great to get together with other detailers for sure. Yeah. That's really inspiring. I've been trying to connect out to detailers that are in, even in my little mountain town, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so I think I'm going to just force them all and, and invite, I'm going to stealth invite them all to coffee and not tell everybody. And then it's like yeah. <laughs> forced intervention of the, all the local yeah. detailers. Yeah. Good idea. Let's yeah. hash this out. Let's be on the yeah. same team. Yeah. yeah. All right, Big Red. Big Red's coming in. Jamie, grab my baby boy detail kit while you're out there at HQ. Since you've inspired, he needs to see the foam. He's in the zone. So so he needs a detail <laughs> kit to get started, huh? There you go. We can make that happen. That's right. Too funny. Hidden Details Triple S product is absolutely amazing addition to the lineup. It has been so helpful for us wrapping vehicles. Thank you. That is so great nice. to hear. So great to hear. We we do love the Triple S. I haven't tried the triple S. You haven't? Mm-mm. I'm not, I'm not a rapper, but you I guess I, I do have one client. I use it all with, the time with, and I don't wrap anything. I do have one client with a wrap <laughs> that I could. I, <laughs> detail wrapper. <laughs> so I need to get it and try it on that one vehicle. Yeah, I love it. I just love the smell. Yep, love it. Is it strawberry lemonade? It's strawberry lemonade, yep. No, I like it. I just put it on paint. Works oh, great. really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. I'll try it out there. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is from a Facebook user. Oh, this is from Lindsay. Oh. Um, so she is in Oregon. So filling my new IK with Mudbuster right Ayo. now. Excited to use this product. Ooh. You're going to like it being over there in Oregon. You're in the perfect spot. I'm pretty pumped up about Mudbuster. <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. What is the best way to use Swift on rubber mats? Ooh, I like some Swift you on like some rubber mats. Yep. Yep. Shout out to Juan John One. That's a very so, tricky name. Yeah. So I use it kind of two ways. So a lot of times, um, cause I do do a lot of maintenance details, right? And so mm-hmm. a lot of my mats come in, they're not, they will start being now, but mm-hmm. you know, through the yeah. summer, they don't get that dirty, a lot right. of them. And so I like to just spray Swift on, wait a couple minutes and then I just wipe them down. And then, you know, it has enough cleaning power yep. and protection in there that it kind of turns them nice and black. But then I do still use Swift in the way that I used to use natural finish, I kind of just split it. If something's really, really dry, Mm -hmm. I'll still go back to natural finish. But if they're not super dry, but I've still cleaned them with like a decreaser or an APC, then I'll just in the same way, I spray them with Swift and let it naturally absorb and set on its own. And it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I cleaned a mat, I think on uh, one of the reels with Swift and people got pretty angry. They were like, you need to pressure wash that. I'm like, you don't have to do it every time. It's a maintenance detail. Come on now. Use your brain. There's people... (laughs) Don't yeah. get me started. So right. I've got I've got a, a Swift mat hack that I figured out. I have I have all the clips filmed in my phone right now. I haven't put together, um, but I had a, a perfectly dirty mat right that I just vacuumed all the rocks off of, and yeah, it was all the debris. Yep. Yeah, all the debris off, and it was typical WeatherTech brown, um, mm-hmm. even though it was kind of we'll call it clean. I just laid a thick layer of Swift on it and walked away. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the detail where it had pooled and collected, mm-hmm. it had grabbed a lot of that dirt out of the mat. Mm-hmm. And I actually used the uh, my little blow dryer that I use for like on wheels and tires mm-hmm. and a towel. And I just blew all of the excess swift and dirt oh. into a towel. Nice. And the mat was dry and perfect. And I basically didn't touch it. I'll be um, And so it's kind of, that was kind of magic. 
So I need to put I need to put that video together. Yeah, I'd like to see that video. You know what we need to do is you know how on like uh, TikTok and Instagram you see those like you know my year 2023 and it's like you know it goes through all their and all their vacations and stuff. And I don't have any of that. No, but what I should do because all the mats weekly is all the videos that you took clips and never put out I never need made. my year in review and take those like 4,000 clips that I have mm-hmm. and just yeah. like, oh, sh- 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 oh my God. Yep. <laughs> it's so funny. Cause yeah, the, I have, I have so much stuff filmed that has never made it to the editing table. Oops. Morning Terry from PNS East Bay. I hope Terry can come by today. All yep. right. Um, so let's see if we had, this is from Vic. So <coughs> a question in regards to products, what is the difference between PNS all purpose cleaner and blast it? Bob just walked just out walked of out. the door. Oh, no. Um, Never use these two. I don't know anything about Blast It. Mm-hmm. And I don't even know what that is. Yeah. And the <laughs> PNS all-purpose cleaner is just exactly what the name is. It's just an all-purpose, all-purpose. cleaner. That's the green, so, yep. $15 mm-hmm. a gallon. Yeah. That's so a good just, deal. Yeah. So it's yep. just the yep. all-purpose cleaner. All-purpose what cleaner. Is, that's the more economy what, line one. What is Blast It? Blast It? Yeah. Blast it says, it. what is the difference between all-purpose cleaner and Blast It? We have Blast so yeah, they must be referring to blast. Yeah. Okay, just blast. Um, yeah. The APC is a little newer technology. APC is a little newer. Older school. Okay. Blast you know, is old school. Yeah, I mean, it's personal choice, really. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So um, if you can't hear Bob, he's just saying it is um, just different technology. So blast is going to be an older technology. All, all purpose cleaners, newer technology. So it's just, it comes down to personal preference. I bet Blast is somewhere back there with Tony. Yeah. Turn around and get a bottle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the basement. It's in the basement. It's, in the basement. Mm-hmm. it's in the basement. That's great. All right. Chris D. Giovanni, thanks Gio for joining Giovanni. us this morning. Is That's there any about. pre-dilutions in the PNS <laughs> product that Dino Ranchers love? So uh, is there stronger dilution ratios for fragrances? Tony, I think you're the official Dino Rancher here. So yeah, um, I you know I actually still have not even played with the fragrances, so shame on me for that. Shame, um, shame, for, shame, shame, shame. I was using the fragrances in the old box. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Silver labels and black letters and all. That's right. Totally, hundred percent. Yeah, Sydney has one that's like really old. Really old. Yeah, <laughs> she she got a bottle out the basement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there is a couple back here. I could grab an ancient one. Uh, as far as diluting stuff, though, man, more and more these days, I just go straight. Like, yeah. like Buster, Express Interior Cleaner, even Express. I'm just using straight these days. Yeah. So the fragrances, though, you know, the bottle does say that it can make, you know, up to two, two gallons. gallons. I usually make, I like them strong. One gallon. So I do one gallon or even just a yep. little bit less. I think that's pretty yeah. common. I think a lot of people are just doing the one gallon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I like them to be a little bit stronger. I feel like they last a little bit longer. Um, I like to smell them. So I mm-hmm. make them, I make them a little bit stronger, mm-hmm. but yeah. that is a great thing though, where it can totally be your personal preference. Yep. But what I do suggest is starting off a little heavy and then working your way back. Mm-hmm. Cause what I have noticed is some people will make two gallons right from the get go and you can't really oh, yeah. add to that unless you get another concentrate bottle. Right. Right. So yeah. Kind of strong. And then you can dilute it back and find out where your sweet spot is for your personal preference. Mm-hmm. Um, Jason Carl is Mudbuster dilutable. Yep. Four to one. Yep. Four to one. So this is going to be though, like Breakbuster. So you want, you're going to want to dilute it in a IK sprayer, but honestly, if you're using it straight, straight. I would just use it straight. Yep. Yeah. Um, Out of the sprayer. Just because, I mean, it's such a fantastic product that, um, you know, and, and again, back to the, you can't hurt anything. So I think it would probably work great at one to one, you know, straight out of the bottle. I wouldn't go too much more than that. But, um, you know, because we're using it on mud, right? Unless you're not using it for something pretty heavy. Mm-hmm. But then in the IK sprayer, four to one. Yeah, you got to dilute yeah. an IK sprayer. People have a lot of problems with those sprayers, mm-hmm. uh, mostly because you're not diluting stuff enough yeah. and it's too thick and clogs it up. And, yeah. You know what yeah. you need to do? You need to do a video on how to make an IK sprayer foam. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> because I can't figure it out. I'll show but you I, the mix. I take I know. the target water. I, go, 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 the target go, go. water. It is. That's a big key, too. The distilled water. water. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem Some is of us don't have access to Target water, okay? Well, well I have access, but my targets you never get have to it. Target. You yeah, have you like to sell out a lot. I don't know what is it about the what distilled the water. Yeah, I have like, Target types. Water that looks like it comes in the same bottle. Right. It's not the same. Not the same. No. I, I do second the Target water when I have been able to get my hands on it. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, gotta pay that extra 29 cents for that, that target one. That's amazing. All wow. right, Tyrell says, good morning all. Not a professional, just like my car nice. I have a Challenger and I have a tough time because I don't have shade or room in the garage. What products can I use to be effective in the sun and safe? Mm -hmm. You work in the sun a lot. Oh, yeah, all the time. Just, uh, you know, stick to, this is when you know when your pH levels comes in handy. Like I said, yep. if you're going to use Mud Buster, probably dilute it down four to one. And that IK foamer, the foam is going to give you more dwell time. This is why I foam a lot. Mm -hmm. Also use Pearl, pH neutral. It uh, reactivates. If it dries a little bit, you can just reactivate it. Mm -hmm. And then just getting your process down. Yeah. 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 And yep. same thing with Absolute, right? Absolute so great because it can dry on the surface and it's not going to hurt anything. Mm -hmm. You just reactivate it with more. Um, oh, yeah. Just switch the rinse loose. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the most important things about working in the sun is it's not actually the sun that's a problem. It's the temperature of the panel. I mean, when it comes yeah. to the products that we're using, it's really yeah. more, you know, so you can be in full sun, but if the car's been in full sun and it's hot mm -hmm. and that panel's hot, that's what the product really is, is, you know, going to give you more challenges is based on the temperature of the surface. So I would just recommend, you know, if it is going to be sunny and you don't have, you know, shade or anything, just try to work, you know, either earlier in the morning or, you know, late in the evening. I actually really enjoy washing my car at night. Like, you know, yeah. when it's, seven, eight o'clock and it's cooled down. And, you know, mm -hmm. I actually really enjoy that. So I would just say just, you know, maybe not middle of the day. Yep. And don't, don't, this not the time to try like mm -hmm. new, new stuff, new yeah. products, stick to what you know. Yeah. That's good. Work that smaller sections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And working exactly like Jamie said, process work in sections, you know, I do half the roof and dry it. If yeah. I'm in the sun, do a door and dry it. And it's easy, especially with absolute Mm -hmm. um, you can get away doing that, get away with that and, and still have a nice, perfectly clean car at the end and no water spots, no issues. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> All right. G Davis, G Tony Davis. brought acid and a lovely bunt cake to my stepson's tenth birthday <laughs> 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 Brought a gallon of water spot remover. <laughs> what kind of bunt cake you bring? Red velvet? <laughs> Anthony, Anthony Brown, Brown Jr. Jr. Hey guys. Good morning, friends. Hi, Anthony. Good morning. So great. All right, Joseph Carter, do you think ceramic coatings have a shorter life in places like El Salvador where we have climb in the desert, lots of sun and heat? Okay. Um, you know, so the biggest thing with ceramic coatings is, you know, they're really, their life expectancy is worn but mainly by abrasion. You know, I'm yeah, sure that over time, maybe, you know, really a lot of sun has to do, but most of it's abrasion. So if you feel like you're having to wash it more, but I've never heard of any, um, necessarily environmental conditions or places that make them shorter. I think it's all going to come down to, I mean, really ceramics, the, its biggest challenge is going to be abrasions. Yeah. UV. I have had yeah. personal experience with some other non PNS brand coating products yeah. that yep. seem to have died, you know, through a hot summer when the car yep. lived outside My ladder panels. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's, you know, it's probably just more indicative of the product itself, you know, than I think your real true honest ceramics, yeah. probably from any brand, um, should be able to withstand that heat. You know, a lot of them even have an advertised heat rating. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, so I, I definitely think depending on the product, the sun can hurt it. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's all just up to what you're using. Yeah. 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 And it, it kind of also goes back to that, right, ceramics, what we say are kind of, um, they're also subject to how strong the paint system is. Right. And sure. so, you know, even though we talk about hardness and longevity and, and things like that, you know, if you have like a really soft clear coat, the coating's not going to last as long. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, all of that's going to play into a factor for sure. Yep. Detailers roadmap, Chris coming in, in lots of different ways here, huh? <laughs> always got me a question. So detailers roadmap, Jamie, what's the one video you wish someone would ask you to do? Also, will you be in a dino rancher costume <laughs> today? Nope. Uh, no costume. I think Tony has one with a zipper, kind of a onesie style. So he's ready to go. But what's the one video you wish someone would ask you to do? Uh, not too many people ask me to make a video, so I'm not really sure. Just kind of do what I feel like doing that day. That's funny. So not sure on that one. Maybe you should ask me to do a video, Dio Giovanni. Mm -hmm. What what <laughs> video would you like Jamie to do? Yeah, right. yeah that's the question. Stephen, thoughts on IRS versus Pearl? So IRS is it's red. Oh soap. yes, I have it pulled up here. 
<laughs> I may have uh, ah, not created a nice little strawberry lemonade or cherry lemonade yeah. mixture there. That's what I, I like. I like both. But uh, I spray it. I foamed on IRS one time, and it was a pretty dirty vehicle, and stuff was just melting mm-hmm. off the paint. So doesn't foam uh, thick, you know, like I like foam talents, which is why I mix it with a little pearl, give it a little boost. <laughs> but ROL is pretty, uh, pretty stout. Cool. It was a good job. I like them mixing it. Did that work good? Yeah, worked nice. pretty good. Nice. And I think good. I was probably working in the sun, so I mix it with a little pearl, give it a little extra uh, dwell time. Nice. Too much mixing talk with Jamie. <laughs> yes. All right. Is there a noticeable difference when using soft water compared to distilled as your dilution choice? Do you use soft water at all or just you just go straight for distilled? No, if I'm using a, like a filter, it's just for the rinse. And my water's so bad, I blow through filters. So I rarely, rarely am using the filter system. Yeah. Uh, so distilled water. I have a lot of jugs of distilled water for diluting the chemicals and the IK sprayer and that kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. There's definitely a difference. So, um, you know, we have really hard water in Idaho and I don't have a water softener. And I will say that um, like the products that come through my chemtrol, um, I absolutely love that dilution system. It's my favorite. But if I don't go through the chemical that has come out and mixed with the water fast enough, I do have to reset it. So the only one yeah. that I really struggle with is like TrueView because, you know, oh, in a no. court, you go through TrueView so slow. You can't put minerals uh, in TrueView. And so, yeah. you know, that one I will have to like, you know, usually halfway through the bottle, I just go ahead and dump it out and start with a fresh bottle. But that's mm-hmm. just because it's just me and my shop. I don't go through products that fast. I would say that if you're able to go through that, you know, in two months, you're probably going to be fine. But, um, you know, if you're diluting, especially in the IK sprayer, if you're diluting chemicals distilled, it, I mean, it makes it go a long way. And honestly, that's why I have trouble with my IK sprayers because sometimes I get lazy and just try to use regular water and it, the filters do not like non-distilled water. Yeah. If you're yeah. distilled water is the way to go. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's very true too. It will, um, water with higher mineral content will just, will kind of kill the foam. Yeah. And, you know, and, and the effectiveness of the product too. At the end of the day. Product, yeah. Yep. Totally. We got Andy. Andy's on Andy, Andy was hot. at the shop crawl this week too. So great. Yep. He's had a lot of good reviews coming out on his YouTube yes. channel. Go check him out. Yep. Love it. Richard Penn, hi from the UK. In the winter, what tire dressing can I use for wet tires? Do you know the answer to this? We have the answer. <laughs> what is the winter? Um, <laughs> what is the winter? <laughs> no idea. What is winter? Uh, so the best, you know, I still use dynamic and I don't have too much trouble um, with dynamic on wet tires. I just maybe don't dilute it as much. So I might only do like a 2.5 to 1 because I know that some of the water is going to be, you know, on the tire and I don't have too much trouble with that. But honestly, um, the best PNS product to use on wet tires is wipe and shine. Um, Works great with with wet tires. So if I have tires that have not, you know, if I'm just doing a wash or something where I haven't had time for the tire to naturally dry, I will grab wipe and shine because it does great on the tires. Oh, yeah, for wet tires. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. wipe and shine is made solvents, push the water away, Mm -hmm. put the dressing on. Yeah, yep. I did know that. Yep. <laughs> I didn't oh finish goodness. reading the question. Oh, Lindsay, this is hilarious. Mitts and hot, hot dogs, dogs for, for Bob. Bob. For Bob. There must be some kind of backstory there with the <laughs> hot dog. I don't know it. <laughs> uh, Michael Sher says, I'm a mitt guy. Mitt guy. Mitt guy. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. All right. Um, let's see who asked that. <laughs> When is the newest compound? What where new compound? These, where these compounds? I have not seen a new what compound. What new compound? Yet. I don't know. Are you hiding something from me? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what you see while you're here. Yeah, it's always I'm, fun I'm to be looking around. There's always stuff uh, hiding. We'll have to see what we can find today. All right. Good, good morning. morning. That's John. I wonder how come some show up and some don't. Very mm-hmm. bizarre. Very bizarre. Joey Belinsky running, running a, little a little late. The old dog was up all night. Be there soon. All right. We'll see you shortly. We can't wait to see you. Hashtag landscape. Hashtag landscape. <laughs> I've heard this story. That is so funny. That was from Adam Garvin, who was also at the shop crawl. Shout out yes. to the there you shop go. Hashtag landscape. Facebook user, what would you say is the longest lasting tire dressing? Mm. Good question. Usually it's a solvent base, so I'm guessing, and then the, the PNS lineup has to be wipe and shine. Yep. I mean, for me, yeah. Bob, um, got something to say about that? I feel like wipe and shine. Solvent base, but 
Oh, it's not? No. Oh, no, okay. It's water-based. Water, water, water gel-based, yeah. Uh, it has enough solvent in it to push away that well, water. The silicone chases away the water. Oh, okay. The silicone chases away the water. My mistake. Yeah, I think it's wipe and shine. I mean, when I want, definitely. yeah, definitely wipe and shine. And, you know, we're talking like days difference here, right? Um, so, you know, dynamic again does great for me, but wipe and shine, if you want like a good solid four or five days, you know, in, nor in normal conditions, mm -hmm. um, definitely wipe and shine for sure. There you Ramiro, go. speaking of PNS East Bay, check out the new pro DI water system. PNS East Bay now sells DI water. That's there you awesome. Go. Steve's got the hookup. I'm gonna have to go check that out. <laughs> Keith DePlessy, plus one media, portrait or nothing. <laughs> That's true. Only available in portrait. <laughs> yep. The turtle's not <laughs> going to make it. That's what he has to offer. Oh. Terry says, sorry, I'm going to miss you guys. He has a busy day. Hey, everybody's it. booked up today. I'm glad to see everybody busy during, uh, well, it's normal temperature here in California, yeah. <laughs> I think, but normally winter time. The winter slowdown usually comes yeah. in effect. So. Yeah. Bummer, Terry. All right, Kimberly, always warned not to drop my towel, but last week I dropped my UBS in a pile of crushed leaves. Oh, my gosh. That... You, can, you can rescue that. Yeah, the sponge you rinses can, out You can, but I can good. see how that's stressful. Yeah. 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 Crushed leaves are the worst. Yep. RJ's mobile detailing. Hey, everyone. Hey, RJ. Joe LaPalm. Good morning, everyone. Love the energy today. Oh, yeah. We're, Thanks we for a, joining us. It's going to be a busy day, so we're uh, coming in hot. Yeah. Today's going to be exciting. Steve Phelps. I'm looking for a good pre-wash foam soak before a contact wash. I'm looking at IRS Concentrate. What are your thoughts and advice? I me? found it to be pretty that effective. Work. Yeah. It, 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 uh, yeah. Good Maybe one. Maybe Buster. Yeah. Since that's the theme of the day. Mudbuster, mud yeah, Mudbuster, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Mudbuster is pretty much designed as a pre-wash, so. Mm -hmm. Have you tried uh, foaming Mudbuster through the foam can? I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, maybe that'll be the next that video. That would work good. That would probably work. All mm -hmm. right. Gabriel is triple S works. Oh, it also works great with a clay lube and maybe even better than paint glass. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That makes uh, sense. I mean, it's supposed to be. I might want to. I would probably want to ask Dave about that one see. Yeah. Good question for Dave. Yeah. Good morning to all my fellow detailers. Good morning. Hello. Tony. Hello. Tony getting lots of love today. Yep. All the love for Tony. <laughs> EC details. Try it all. Eddie. I don't know what that means. He's well, trying it all. Yeah. Eddie's favorite product is Swift. Loves it. He's yeah, big, big Swift guys. Yep, big Swift guy. <laughs> PNS East Bay meet and greets have worked well for our area to bring local detailers together. Everyone knows everyone else on social media, and it's nice to have a neutral place for face-to-face -face networking. Yes, That's absolutely. So cool. Yep. Stephen does an amazing job, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys want to watch how he kind of puts <clears throat> those together and you know how he does it, definitely go follow his social media. He does a fantastic job. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I love that he's stepped up yep. his social media game. Mm -hmm. G. Davis, when Joey B. gets there, please ask him about his time as a Mexican TV game show host. I'm looking forward to asking him about that, G. Davis. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Keith DePlessy, he would know. Lots of potential abrasion with dust in the yeah. deserts. Absolutely. I have very thorough awesome. rinse, mm -hmm. foam rinse kind of deal. Yeah, dust and sander. Yeah, if that gets under the wash mitt, probably. Doing some bad stuff. All right. Anthony Brown Jr., which PNS ceramic coating is best for satin mm. matte wrapped vehicles? And have you tried the coating, that coating on satin vinyl wrap yourself? Yes. So, Anthony, my uh, Challenger hood and trunk deck are both wrapped in vinyl, um, a satin finish. And um, so, if you actually go back to TR SEMA, would that have been three years ago, two years ago? When did Legend yeah, come out? Then. Yeah. Um, I, I believe it was actually three years ago mm -hmm. um, when we did Legend for the first time Debut on that Legend. Challenger. Yeah. So we did the wrap. And then actually year two, so which was two TRC months ago, we kind of did a check-in mm -hmm. and did Soul on it. And honestly, so it's we're about three oh. years out now, and it still has Legend on it. It looks great. So the nice thing about and and the answer to your question is any of the coatings. Um, all three of our coatings work fantastic on satin and matte wrap. They do not change the, the sheen, but they do change the darkness, if that makes sense. So when we did it, you know, the, the wrap went from, 
it looked fine to like, it was a really deep black, but it was still satin as it should have been. Mm -hmm. Um, the longevity has been great. Um, no issues there. It's, you know, no fading from the sun, no water spots. It's just been really, really nice. Um, so, but legend inspiration and soul all do really, really well on wraps. Um, soul is fantastic. I love it. You know, especially if you plan on maintaining it every year, um, soul is great. Defender's great. I have not had any trouble with any of our coatings on any wraps. Nice. Yep. yep. I think the only time I think we actually had a little bit of struggle on that one Mustang Sid that we worked on in your shop, but it was cause the wrap was the like, wrap was really mm, rough. Yeah. It was, it was crazy absorbent. So it just, it just meant we had to lay it on really thick to get it to be nice mm. and consistent. Right. You know, cause it was yeah. wanting to soak it up as soon as it touched the coating. Yeah. That, that would be the only overlapping. advice I'd have. Right. Is just yeah. make sure you're applying it consistently. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, I'm glad that you pointed that out, Tony, because I was like five hours off of a plane from London and I don't even remember doing that car. So I'm glad that you <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't even remember. Yeah. All right. Erin, any ideas when the new leather scent is coming? Ooh. We're going to default this to Bob. I love Throw it to Bob. <laughs> We're going to have to ask favorite. Dave. Got to ask Dave. <laughs> Throwing it to Dave. It's coming. It it's coming. We're all, it's just, it's always, you know, a matter of waiting for the raw materials to come in. Is the old scent still up or did y'all just go ahead and pull them down? I, I think they're okay, down. So they're yeah. down. So I you got to wait on the new release. Yep. And you want the new label. Yeah. It, it should be soon for sure. All right. So is that actually his name? 404 Not Found? Yeah. That's yeah. so funny. Okay. With Good morning turtle. from Montreal, Canada. Good morning. That's so funny. Shout out to all the Canadian All right. Well, it's... Yeah. It's officially an hour in, so I'm going to sort of lightning round through yep. the rest okay. of these. Yeah. Out. I see glove yeah, we box got, coming we got in. stuff to do. Ah, glove box. Eddie in the house looking for a Swift. Good morning. Eddie. Good morning. Very. I want Jamie to foam a gator. Coming soon. That's the video I want to see. <laughs> yeah. Because you know what? We'll get his foaming <clears throat> action, the gators, and his previous wrestling experience. Mm, yeah. <laughs> May come into play. <laughs> and a luchador mask. <laughs> an alligator. Yeah. I want to see that. <laughs> I'll All have right. some custom made alligator shoes after that. Video. UM distributor sending hugs. Fast Eddie, how Ooh, about Radiance, Radiance versus, versus Pearl? Pearl? Ooh. I haven't tried the new formula yet. And then it's a sister question here. Yeah. Does Radiance have more or less lubrication than Pearl? So I'm going to say on the lubrication, probably more it because have it's more thicker. With the um, yeah. So, so let's chat about the foaming action real quick, because I think Jamie and I probably actually differ on this. So some people, when we say, how does it foam? We're picturing shaving cream foam. Like I call it Instagram foam, right? Like yep. the shaving cream foam. Right. When I, for me, the girl who likes just doing mm -hmm. rinseless wash, mm -hmm. when I foam a car, I want wet foam. So I want like foam that's just, I'm just there for the lubrication on that, right? Mm -hmm. So I like it to drip foam, you know, and be, and just make it super easy to wash. So for me, when somebody says, is that a good foaming soap? And I know that it's a wet foam. I'm like, yeah, it's great. Love it. So Radiance is a very wet foam. Um, so it's not snow foam, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're expecting that, you won't get that from, and I would say either Pearl or Radiance. So really yeah. in, w through a foam cannon, they look very similar. I would say that Radiance is a little bit more white and foamy, um, but they're both really great on lubrication, but I will say Radiance probably has more lubrication out of, you know, than mm -hmm. Pearl. Both great, but Radiance is definitely not a snow foam. Yep. And you can get right. pearl foam, but you have to use the Jamie the Cleaner dilution. Right. Which is like foam straight. Candy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> straight. Straight. Yeah. 404 not found good demo, Jamie, with the PNS Clarity Cream. Ooh, that's an oldie but a goodie. Yep. Mm -hmm. Keith. I love how Keith comes in and like sets us straight on everything. That's my favorite. Yeah, soft water should have yep. no mineral content. So there should be little to no difference in performance between using it or distilled water when they come to diluting. Well, Keith, you haven't tried target water. So yeah, go get you a bottle right. of target water. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's also one of those things that, you know, like I, my, one of my previous shops had a water softener mm -hmm. and it still is not like distilled water because even though, you, you know, I mean, there's variables, right? And so there's so much junk know, in the water. Yeah. You don't know. I mean, I'm not using test strips. I'm not checking all of that. So you don't really know you know, exactly yeah. how efficient your water softeners mm -hmm. being. And there's a million different kinds, you know, there's salt, there's 
So yeah, I'm 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 curious of how many minerals are left in the salt based mm -hmm. softened ones, right? Yeah. Right. Right. <clears throat> so yeah, distilled. If you're worried about it, distilled is definitely the way to go. Randy, happy holidays all. Can we have a festivist feats of strength? I like <laughs> it. <hard> to <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Clark coming Kyle in Clark. hot. Bob, Dave, Sydney, Brig, Lynn, Tony Mazzell, Keith Duplessis, the best team in the industry, Jamie Party. <laughs> 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 I knew you were be there. <laughs> oh, that's too good. Fred, Sydney, do you do wheels off details for people that are really worried about ceramic coating their wheels or giving their suspension a deep clean? No. Um, the reason that I don't is one, I'm a girl. I would never jack up a car and try to take a wheel off. It would be horrendous, but also my insurance doesn't cover me to take wheels off. So yeah, I don't do one. it. So that's the real deal. Is, we know you could do it because you're buff like a girl. But I am buff like just... a girl, right? But I love when people think that. And then I'm like, no, I'm not strong. I just, <laughs> I just know how to buff like a girl. I am oh. not like a girl. Um, no. So, I mean, really the answer there is if you're going to be doing wheels off, you definitely want to make sure that you are insured for that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's actually one of those things that, you know, can really get you in trouble. That can be like. Oh, yeah. The not good thing. So, but also sure. I think too, for me on, on, on some procedures like this, th these are very like time intensive. And so you want to make sure that if you're doing them, you know, what can you really charge for doing a wheels off? Mm -hmm. And are you charging appropriately for your time and effort? Um, and then to cover the large insurance writer. Yep. So, so, so yeah, I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. There's Pop Smurf. What's up, Pop Smurf? Good to see you. <laughs> Morning, guys and gals. Uh, stopping in to say hello. The cleaner's in the house. What's up, Jamie? Go check him out on the YouTube as well. <laughs> ah, Smurf dog. Smurf dog. Lots of, lots of love for Pop Smurf. Nice. Easy details. I love Swift so much. Sydney said we're doing a collab video. We are. You know what? I, oh, wow. Eddie, you need to come to my shop and I'm going to teach you how to use Swift. There you go. It's going to be like a 30-second video. Swift 101. <laughs> Swift education. <laughs> so funny. G. Davis, is it tough to get training done when Tony Hoopies <laughs> are constantly asking for selfies and autographs? We'll find out today. I bet it is. Yep. Tony, do you have groupies? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> By the end of the class, more than by the beginning. Let's just say mm. that. At the end <laughs> of the class, go. I, yeah. There you go. The beginning, right. like, who's this guy? Yeah. yeah. Anthony Brown, thank you. I thought I had to use Halo because it was specifically for vinyl. Nope. You Man. can use any of them. They're awesome. And they hold up so well. Like, I, I'm a huge fan <sighs> of our coatings on vinyl. I can't speak for other companies if, if all of the coatings can be used on vinyl, but I've put all of ours to pretty serious tests on vinyl, and they mm -hmm. all do so good so nice. good papa, papa smurf. smurf looks like he was getting a youtube video ready so go check him out jerry ellis good morning, good morning. alex the only wheels jamie <laughs> takes off are the kids power wheels now i do right. know how to take power wheels wheels off you know i used to build power wheels i know how really? to do yeah and let me tell you those little clips that you have to put on mm -hmm is harder than any vehicle wheel you've ever had to take <laughs> off. You can get them off, but you cannot get those things back on. Have you ever tried They're to do They're super that? hard. Oh, my god! I gosh. know what you're talking about. They're super oh hard. Those, the little clamps that fit over the end of yeah. the axle. So oh, having yeah, yeah, to get yeah, yeah, that yeah. thing lined up and hitting a hammer, oh, my God, you'll use so many expletives. It's not even mm -hmm. funny. Have you ever I just had to fix my the... steamer cart yesterday, and I had mm -hmm. one of those. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you were taking like the drill battery hack and like replace the batteries. Oh yeah, we did. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. I just add extra batteries, but I still oh. use I still use SLAs. But I mm -hmm. do this whole wiring thing, so I make them eighteen or twenty four volt. But I mm -hmm. don't. I think the drill battery thing is bad. They're okay. not. Yeah, they're not safe. <laughs> they're not meant to do that. So mm -hmm. I will make them eighteen volt, but I do it in a very safe. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, my kids, my kids will, will pop wheelies now. It's, oh my yeah, goodness! It's it <laughs> yeah. a hazard. Yeah, I can funny. I can show you how to do the batteries safely. It also blows the heck out of the motors. That's what I would think. Yep. Yeah. Then you have to take the wheels off to get the motor off the axle, and then mm. you're gonna have to deal with that little clippy thing. Steve Phelps, you're talking about wheels off. Do you guys remove seats? I don't do the liability part of. It. Yeah, nope. no seats. Same answer, right? Yep, same no, answer. No chemicals on liability. Seat belts. For insurance. me, it's this, wheels and seats don't happen. Yeah. Yep. Nope, and I, I've heard someone say, like, you know, they don't use any tools 
in their detailing is in like wrenches and sockets right. and right. Right, right, tools. Especially yep. for um, and, and that's mostly for an insurance and liability yeah. factor, yeah. right? Yeah. I a would lot say of seats too, especially. Come into a tool might be needle nose pliers to grab something yeah. stuck in a seat, but yeah, no. A lot of um, like BMW seats, especially, are affixed to the floor of the car with single use aluminum bolts. So mm -hmm. Technically right. speaking, if you remove those, you're supposed right. to buy all new bolts. Yep. And put new so it's in. just well, yeah, just and they're all supposed to be to torqued to specific specifications. Yeah, need all the torque wrenches. Yeah. And if you have to unplug the electronics, that, yeah, that could potentially affect the airbag. And I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not messing with yeah. that. No, but then you know, and I, and this is where the funny part is. It comes back to the I don't clean that dirty of cars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, yep. like you could just avoid the whole yep. seat That's thing if my, you just don't take that dirty little, of cars. My little section today kind of goes over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. All right, everyone, have a good training and be safe. We will. Eddie, we got to get you, you down for a training here sometime soon, yep. for real. Shout out to EC. He got a YouTube as well. Go check out EC Details YouTube channel. Yep. Pop I, Smurf, I did the battery upgrade. Had to swap it back. Little yeah. man is ready. Yeah, yeah. he's not ready. Yeah. I can it's believe It's like when it. they're 10, they're ready. Woo. Yeah. Super Auto, if there are mimosas before training class, make sure to put a limit yeah. on Tony. Yeah. Yes. Tony's been good. Yep. Good this training. It depends on what it is, too. Sometimes his limit's two. Sometimes it's four. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Depends on who's yep. uh, the bartender. <laughs> yep. <laughs> who's serving it up. Taking the plates off. That's I, that's. I, neat. I told the story this weekend. I said, I have actually been with Tony in first class where they would not serve him more than two ounces of margarita. <laughs> yep. Literally yeah, would the, not do yeah, it. Check the birthday a checked couple times. Checked his ID, checked his yeah. eyes. The whole it was thing. a true, yeah, yeah true. Story. The whole thing was true. I had sunglasses on. She's like, take your sunglasses off. Like, what am I, <laughs> what am I hiding back here? And like, then he said, can I get another two ounce margarita? And she said, no. No, not, not, for, <laughs> not, not for you. Mr. I know your type. Mm -hmm. yeah. I saw you come on this airplane. But yeah, not for you, Mr. Mazel. Would clearly, you like a cup of water? <laughs> clearly, a dino rancher. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, we've we've effectively reached the bottom Ooh, of our comments yeah, here today. Um, we got to Yeah, I'm gonna go scramble and get the the classroom ready and everything Thanks. like that. Lots of students. Do we have any announcements of where we are next, or just come you know tune in in two oh weeks goodness. for Beemaker so and Coffee? Next we um gosh, so we've got. Uh, bead maker and coffee. We'll have one more episode, I believe, before Christmas, and then yep. um, we've got the, the holidays. 18th. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I missing anything? I mean, I think obviously everybody start looking at MTE. MTE is going to be amazing MTE. this year. Um, yep. That's uh, the very first weekend of February, but otherwise we'll be, you know, kind of hunkered down in the cold, and mm -hmm. it's going to be good. It's going to be there good. Go. So stay but obviously, because Jamie's here today, right? So stay tuned very closely yep. to social media, both his and ours. Um, and special for, video coming out. Yeah, for why he's here today. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, we will see you in two weeks. All righty.